The race to conquer space is just beginning. Two of the biggest figures in the US tech industry are competing to revolutionize our relationship with space and build the foundations for life beyond Earth. Elon Musk and SpaceX, Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin. Both billionaires have slightly different motivations for going to space. In recent days, Blue Origin is the company that is attracting attention with Project Jarvis and the new Glenn that is expected to use propellant tanks of stainless steel, the fact that led Elon Musk to react surprisingly. Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here we present you with yet another exciting content in the space niche world. Yes, that's right. It's Jeff Bezos' new stainless steel test tank. So, what is it all about? And what is the reaction of Elon Musk towards this project? Let us find out. But before we start, subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the notification button so you will never miss any of the latest space news. Let's move on. Ars Technica reported Tuesday that Blue Origin has rolled out its first test tank for their project Jarvis, New Glenn Upper Stage. Ars photographer Trevor Mulman captured photos showing the tank's movement at Blue Origin's site on LC-36 in Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Trevor has also spotted the Jarvis test tank from the air after receiving a tip that rollout was expected for the start of Blue Origin's testing. Made of stainless steel, this tank will serve to validate whether the design can withstand the pressures of New Glenn's upper stage. The tank was moved using modular transport that we've seen SpaceX use down in Starbase, Texas. This is a critical part to ensure that Blue Origin's team has a solid base and then take this tank and return it to a reusable second stage. Blue Origin is still yet to acknowledge the existence of this project, but with the view of a stainless steel tank rolling around their launch site, there's no longer a need for them to confirm its existence. Although Blue Origin has not publicly discussed this effort to build a reusable upper stage for the New Glenn rocket, sources said that the company's primary goal is to bring down the overall cost of the New Glenn rocket. The vehicle's large upper stage, which has a 7-meter diameter and two BE-3U engines, is costly. Making New Glenn fully reusable is necessary for Blue Origin to compete with SpaceX's Starship launch system. The tank project is one aspect of the reusable upper stage program, and the other aspect is selecting and finalizing a design for the second stage. Operating within Blue Origin's Advanced Development Programs Unit are making progress. Project Jarvis encompasses the tank program, which is intended to rapidly prototype a propellant tank to withstand the rigors of multiple launches and re-entries. The company's engineers are studying the use of stainless steel as a material for these tanks, as SpaceX has chosen to do with Starship Booster Upper Stage. Stainless steel is cheaper and better able to withstand atmospheric heating during re-entry, but it's about five times heavier than other composites. To move quickly and test whether SpaceX's iterative design philosophy can be mimicked, Blue Origin founder Jeff Bezos has empowered the engineers leading Project Jarvis to innovate in an environment unfettered by rigorous management and paperwork processes. This has led to the rapid development of the tank rolled to the Launch Complex 36 on Tuesday. At the same time, another team has been studying three different approaches for the design of a re-entry vehicle, sources said. One is to fit the upper stage with large wings so that it would look and function something like a space plane, separating from the first stage, delivering its payload and then returning to a runway. Project Jarvis is aimed at developing a reusable second stage for the New Glenn rocket and validating if SpaceX's rapid development and testing structure could be copied. Blue Origin is planning on selecting the preferred method for turning their large, expensive upper stage reusable by the end of this year. The options are between mimicking Starship's flaps and vertical landing, large wings that will help it glide to a runway, or the development of an aerospike engine that doubles as a heat shield. In the past, Bezos has expressed doubts about wings. Some people like wings, he told Oz during a factory tour in 2016. Some people like parachutes. None of these are bad. The reason I like vertical landing is that it scales so well. With wings, they scale pretty well to a certain size, but they end up being a lot of dead weight to carry. 
The second approach involves an aerospike engine that would double as a heat shield during re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. This approach has promise, but it likely would necessitate the design and reconstruction of a new engine, which would be an expensive and time-consuming process. This appears to be the leading contender amongst the three approaches, and Blue Origin is expected to make a final decision before the end of this year. Regardless of the final design, the propellant tanks for each of these three designs would be cylindrical, allowing the Project Jarvis team to move ahead with its development program. Sources indicated that the construction of this test tank would proceed much more rapidly than other programs at Blue Origin, which may validate Jeff Bezos' experiment with rapid iterative design. Jeff wants to heavily emphasize the ferocity in our motto now. One source said of Blue Origin's Gradatum Ferociter motto, which means step by step, ferociously. As many experts pointed out, the test tank bears a striking resemblance to competitor SpaceX's Super Heavy booster prototypes. The primary stage designed to launch the Elon Musk-led company Starship spacecraft into orbit. The comparison led to countless memes, one of which caught Musk's attention. Hey Elon, can I copy your homework? One Twitter account wrote, a repost of a submission to the Reddit forum. Musk thought the sentiment was funny, replying with a laughing emoji on Wednesday. Yet another jab at Blue Origin, and a sign that he still doesn't see the Jeff Bezos-led company as a serious competitor. Blue Origin is still trying to nail down its exact approach for launching its new Glenn heavy lift launch vehicle. According to Oz reporting, the company still hasn't ruled out adding large wings to allow the second stage to glide back down to Earth. It's far more likely that Blue Origin will opt for a familiar procedure using the stage to launch the new Glenn spacecraft separating and then landing vertically, just like SpaceX's Super Heavy booster. Either way, Blue Origin's continued developments will likely lead to further derisive comments from the team SpaceX about how the company is playing catch-up with the competition. That's in no small part since Blue Origin has been fighting tooth and nail to be part of NASA's upcoming Artemis missions to the moon. SpaceX emerged as the only winner of the space agency's recent human landing systems contract, drawing the ire from Blue Origin's leadership, prompting an angry lawsuit against NASA by Bezos' company. It's a bitter race, and these billionaires are willing to throw a ton of money to emerge as the commercial super-heavy lift system of choice. It's a high-risk, high-reward game that's bound to make at least some of them the butt of many jokes still to come. Now that we have come to the end of the video, what do you think of Jeff Bezos' new stainless steel test tank? Let us know in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit the notification button so that we can keep you updated with the latest news. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.